Hey y'all, welcome in to the channel. I hope everybody is having an amazing day, morning, noon, and night, or whatever time it is you catch this reading. Okay, so this is gonna be your sidebar, LOL. Okay, let's take a look what's going on. Sidebar, LOL. Sidebar, LOL. Sidebar, LOL. Thank you, Spirit. Show me clearly, angels and spirit guys, what's going on. Sidebar, LOL. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, that almost came out. Let's see what else. Sidebar, LOL. Okay, all right. Okay, hold on. We got blessed. Okay. Mm, we too blessed to stress, okay? We ain't stressing the day. We ain't stressing the day. Okay, I feel that vibe right there. Somebody could have did that, that challenge, that dance. Okay, we ain't stressing the day. I don't know who is by, but shout out to you, whoever sings that song. We ain't stressing the day, okay? No place like home. Okay, we returned to our core. We returned home. E.T. done phoned home. So we ain't stressing the day, okay? We ain't stressing the day. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going to put them back. That was Unfinished Symphony and Here and Now. We ain't stressing the day. Somebody could feel like they got some unfinished business with you in the here and now, but you like, look, I ain't stressing the day. <laughs> I ain't stressing the day. Okay, it's that type of vibe. All right, one more card. Thank you, angels and spirit guys. Oh my goodness, you guys, that's too much. Look, that um, they really feel like they got unfinished business with you. Okay. This person that has unfinished business with you, though, um, they're about to receive some sort of enlightenment, okay? They're about to go through some type of either dark night of the soul or transformation. We ain't stressing the day. We ain't stressing the day. Oh, that's the title of the reading. Thank you, spirit. I'm like, what? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Sidebar. LOL. We ain't stressing the day. Grab out in the... I ain't stressing the day. No, I ain't stressing the day. Okay. So we're not stressing the day. Sidebar LOL. I got the message. Let's just get one card and whatever. Thank you, Spirit. But you just keep... Okay, somebody that's watching. Never ending story. It's somebody... They don't, maybe somebody doesn't want to let you go. Somebody can't move on. Somebody just, they like, but no. Somebody won't give up. They need to give up. Just give it up. Because I don't know if they're trying to get you to stress, but you're not stressing today. So it's like nothing that this person can do can get to you. E.T. done phone home, y'all. Flexibility. Okay. We'll take that. That came out in the same position in the last sidebar, LOL. We ain't stressing the day. No, what we're doing is we're remaining peaceful. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Peace is here. But what I was going to say is we're, re we're remaining flexible here. We're just going with the flow. We're not letting nothing trip us up, nothing get us, out, throw us off, out of character. We're not. That's dead. That's over with, okay? You're about to receive some sort of recognition or honor you could be considered high honor this is this is in a past life somebody here was a demon slayer and in this lifetime you be pissing demons off <laughs> let me just say that y'all had a dream let me tell you i had a dream about being late to work and i was so frustrated in the dream about being late to work and I woke up and I was actually about to be late to work, okay? Because I was like, oh, you know how you hit snooze and you be like, I'm going to just sleep for five more minutes. I'm going to just close my, I'm going to just lay here. Matter of fact, I ain't even going to go to sleep. I'm going to just lay here. Y'all went to sleep like a mug. And then I started dreaming about being in this place where the bathrooms were nasty and I needed to brush my teeth. And it was like, oh, I could not brush my teeth in here. Um, by the way, somebody has some funky breath, okay? This person been all up in your energy, just so you know, okay? I smell your breath. You need to brush your teeth, okay? I don't know who that message is for, but it's for somebody because I smelt their breath the other day. Okay, so anyway, um, back to my, my dream. Yeah, I had a dream about that. But then after, so I finally got to brush my teeth. I found a clean sink, okay? It was like on a higher level. Um, it was like, you know how you ever go into a bathroom and they got like two different sides, okay? It's like one side of this bathroom was extremely 
extremely junky, except this bathroom was a two-story bathroom and it has several stalls and sinks um, on both levels. Well, on this bottom level, it was disgusting. And it's like, I went up to the next level and I had clean sinks, clean bathroom. I could do what I had to do in there. For some reason, y'all, I wasn't at home brushing my teeth or using whatever the restroom. I was like in a public place. This is my dream. Somehow this all goes together, this correlates. So anyway, um, I went up to the next level, I brushed my teeth and then I got in the car and I put the, you know, somebody was taking me to work too, y'all. I got a car, I don't need nobody to take me to work, but it was weird. But anyway, this was in my dream. So basically, um, the person was taking me to work and they were like, I don't know how to get there. And I'm like, well, I always put it in the GPS. So I put it in the GPS and they're like, well, you drive. So I get in the car, I'm driving. Y'all, I passed by this like, um, ranch. And I just saw a whole bunch of horses running, okay? Like a whole bunch of horses running. And I love horses, y'all. So in my dream, um, I loved horses too. So I was, I, I, as we passed by this place on my way to my job, like I was like, oh my God, pull over. I gotta pull over and, and talk to these people about the horses and find out how long they're gonna be there. So I get out of the car in my dream and I go up to this woman who's like, I guess the stable owner or the ranch owner or whatever. And she's standing out there and she's like trying to get people to buy rides on the horses, okay? The horses are just running free in this field, but it's, 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 it's fenced in, but they have a, plenty of room to run. And I get out of the car and I go to her. I'm like, I gotta stop. Now I'm already late in my dream to work, but I'm like, I gotta stop here and talk to this lady about these horses. So I get out of the car and I go to this lady and I'm like, look, um, are you gonna be here all day? Like, what, is this a carnival? Like, did y'all just, cause I don't remember it being there. I'm like, are y'all here all the time? Or like, what's up? And so she started talking to me and giving me the details. And as I'm looking and as I'm talking to her, I'm still looking at the horses, right? And uh, my car is, you know, parked on the side of the road. And I just run over there real quick. And I'm like, look, you know, what's up? Are you going to be here when I get off work at blah, 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 time? Are you going to be here? Because I need to get over here to ride these horses. I need to play with these horses. And um, she's like, yeah, we'll be here, you know, blah, 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 whatever. And as I'm looking and talking to her, I see one of the horses. It was like a two-headed horse. Or it, it was weird because I, I didn't know if he had to. It's like he was... He didn't have two heads, but he was running backwards. So his head was facing me, but he was running in the direction of the other horses. But it looked like he was running backwards. I'm like, what the heck? What's wrong with that horse? And she's like, oh, he does that. He's That's just how he's built. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I was like, all right, well, he's cool. He looked funny though. He looked like a long wiener dog running backwards, but a horse, okay? He had a wiener dog body. Like his body was long like a wiener dog, but he had the head of a horse. And so anyway, he's running backwards with the other horses and they're just running around this ranch. And um, so I was like, wow, that's strange. Like that one horse really stuck out to me. So then as the lady, you know, she, I'm telling her like, I gotta go to work, you know, thanks for letting me know. I'll be back as soon as I get off. And she was walking me to my car and I'm like, so what did you used to do? Like before you, before you worked as a stable owner or before you, whatever with these horses, like, what did you used to do? And she was like, I used to slay demons. And then like, I woke up and then I looked at the clock cause I woke up like, oh shit <laughs> in real life. And I looked at the clock and I was, I was like, not late, but like, and I was actually on time that day. Cause I hurried, I hurried like hell. I was like, oh my God, I jumped up. I jumped in the shower real quick, brushed my teeth, got dressed and went on to work. And I actually got there right on time. So God woke me up just in time, but it was a vibe. I don't know. I had to tell y'all about that. Um, so I don't know as that relates here, but anyway, um, horses represent freedom. Okay. So there's a level of freedom that you've reached. Okay. We got temperance and we have the blank card, which is unexpected. Okay. Something unexpected, excuse me, confirmation, spiritual belch, <laughs> hiccup or whatever that is my soul is saying yes something unexpected is going to be occurring you could already be feeling blessed because you phoned home okay maybe in my dream that was me phoning phoning home um maybe it was also a representation like we were going higher like i wasn't going to be in the filth in the dirt in, in on the level that was considered dirty or needed a janitor in it right um I was in a, and there were janitors in that level, but they weren't cleaning shit. It was really strange. It was like they were wiping stuff down, but it was still dirty. I was like, oh no, I can't brush my teeth here. So I went up 
somehow I just happened upon the second level and I'm like, well, here I am. So this can be a sign, sign, okay, a sign or significant to say that you've gone up a level or you're, you're on another level. And on this level that you're on, um, there's peace, right? Cleanliness is next to godliness. It's that type of a vibe. I don't know. Take it as it resonates. Okay. But we got blessed here. Six of Wands. So you're blessed with some type of a victory. I know I was in my dream. I felt victorious when I found them clean bathroom and sink stalls, right? I was like, oh my God. Because it's like, you know, have you ever in a household, if you lived with multiple people, like um, like growing up with my brother, right? My stepbrother. I hated to brush my teeth at the same time he was brushing his teeth because I can't stand to see other people spit come out of their mouth. Like I can't, I cannot, like ugh. It makes me want to gag and throw up. And that's how I felt when I was in that that first level and I was trying to brush my teeth in that space. I was like, oh, I can't even because the sinks were disgusting. You could see the person before who, I don't know, they washed their hands or they left stuff in the sink. It just was bad. It was nasty, okay? It's like drinking after somebody and they backwash or something. But anyway, it was this vibe where, um, so basically I'm saying here, okay, that um, you've leveled up, okay? You've gone up to that level and then this next level there's peace you're no longer in that room or in that on that floor that is disgusting that the janitors are not properly cleaning or whatever the case is it's like you're next to godly this now because where you are is clean okay where you are you're free like those horses that were running okay now i don't know what the significance of the one that was running backwards is okay maybe they were saying like something's about to be returned to you with the six of cups that's very possible this could be something from your childhood something from the past with the king of wands okay um some Something, maybe this is your confidence is being returned to you. Um, maybe there was something going on. Like, I didn't feel confident to use those stalls in the bathrooms that were on the first level. They were yucky, okay? With the Ace of Wands, I was so blessed to be able to, yeah, this is the vibe. Like, you're, you're being returned to a space. You should feel blessed. We ain't stressing the day because you're not, there's no stress on this level. Okay. With the two of pentacles here and your past, you may have had to like suffer or you may have had to like settle like, oh, let me just settle for brushing the, my teeth in the bathroom with my brother because we both got to go to school and we only got one sink. We only got one bathroom right here. You know what I mean? My parents had a bathroom in their room, but it was like this bathroom was the the the, the community bathroom, okay? Um, but you're, it's like you're no longer using the community property. Um, you've returned to your core to on this second level. It's like this level you're on is your core level. This core level is is a level of peace okay it's a level where you don't have to, to 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 wait you don't have to come second you don't have to be juggled you don't have to make those life-altering decisions of like okay i can't i gotta i gotta sacrifice i have to suffer i have to you know settle for being in this nasty bathroom per se quote unquote okay it's like no where you are because you return home with the ace of wands is in a space where um, you, 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 I want to say you have options. It's clean. What's at the bottom of the deck? The Ace of Pentacles. Okay. We on this again. In the last one, it was, it was the Ace of, was it the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles? Anyway, anyway, um, it's a vibe though. It's like, yeah, you got options. So we got Five of Cups. I feel like this makes somebody sad. Somebody is missing you. Somebody feels like you left me in the space where I got to use the community bathrooms, okay? Or the porta potty. I don't know. Y'all hate using porta potties too. I will hold it. I will hold it till I get home if I got to use a porta potty. I cannot, okay? But anyway, something unexpected occurred or is about to occur. Sidebar LOL. We ain't stressing the day. I feel like God just needed you to see things from his perspective, how it says, lean not to your own understanding. And I feel like that's what you did. Like in the moment, I couldn't understand. I'm like, uh, I don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but anyway, for somebody here, going back to what I was saying about the whole demon slayer thing, you could have been a demon slayer in your past life. But I feel like in this lifetime, you're pissing the demons off or you irritate people's demons because you're you're in in line, in position 
you're on another level. I'm on a new level, okay? I feel like you're pissing people off because you're on a new level. Something unexpected is about to occur or it already occurred and that's what put you in this new level, this new level of peace or this new level or space or mindset even. This could be just you in a new mindset. No more stinking thinking, okay? And it's a vibe where you've leveled up. Maybe you were, you the mindset you were in, you were having the stress. You were worried. You were worried about this. You were worried about things being clean. You were worried about bills. You were worried about your kids. You were worried about relationships. You were worried about your job. You were worried about school. You were worried. You were worried. You were worried about your animals. You were worried. Somebody here could have been a worry ward, okay? You're going from stressing to blessed. I'm hearing stressing to blessings, okay? We ain't stressing the day. We ain't stressing the day, okay? So maybe something from your past with the two of pentacles was tugging on you, pulling on you, trying to get you to worry, trying to get you to fear. You could have had a battle with sadness. Somebody could have been battling depression, battling anxiety. No, no, we ain't stressing the day. Whatever it was, it, it was stress. Something had you stressing, okay? Six of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, the Magician. Yeah, something magical happened. It transformed you. I feel like somebody from your past with the Two of Pentacles, this person could have juggled you, the one that feels like, oh, we got unfinished business, okay? We got unfinished business, okay? I'm not through with you, okay? Get over here. Somebody could really feel like that, but it's a vibe where something transformed to where you're unreachable. Eight Pentacles. This could have happened. Something at work could have happened. Somebody at work is disappointed or sad that they can't reach you, that you're unreachable, untouchable, that you're not stressed. Somebody's disappointed that you're not stressed. Where they do that at? What's at the bottom of this deck? The King of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Somebody sees that you are enlightened or that you've gotten you on a new level, okay? You're on a new level. And this new level you're on is peace. Somebody is is saddened by the fact that it's somebody you work with. Somebody could have been fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Fucus. Or you're the fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or Fucus. Five of Cups, it could be a water sign or an earth sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Somebody could be stressed because you're not. Oh, I wasn't trying to say stressed. Okay, well, somebody could be stressed because you're not stressed. They're stressed because you have peace. Mm, mm, mm. Burdened by your peace. Somebody's, I'm also hearing burdened by your success. I'm hearing a heaviness of the heart. Somebody's weighing, weighed down emotions. Somebody's emotionally weighed down. I'm hearing the politics of drama. I don't take it as it resonates, y'all. The politics of drama. Somebody could have been politically incorrect as it relates to the drama they were trying to cause you in your life. I'm hearing tower moments. I'm hearing domino effect. It's like that something about that horse that was running backwards. It's like something's being returned to you, which looks like success, recognition, ice cream, milk and honey. Milk and honey? Confidence, optimism, positivity, ingenuity. Somebody sees you, they see that your light, your light can't be put out. Everybody lit, can't put our fire out. Whoever tried to put your light out with the two of pentacles and the five of cups, they sad, sad, sad. I'm hearing clown. I'm hearing depressed, a depressed clown. Somebody's a depressed clown. Y'all 
but I'm hearing this. So take it as it resonates. All right. I, this is not me. This is, I'm listening in the spirit right now and I'm channeling. I'm even surprised by what I'm hearing. I'm like, a oh, depressed clown. Okay. That's what we on spirit. That's what, that's how y'all feel. Okay. So unexpected magician, eight pentacles. Somebody, somebody, oh my God. Spell work. That pops smooth out. Okay, so this person could have been doing some spell work. That could be what's returning to them. What's returning to you is freedom. You're free from somebody's spell work. Maybe the spell work was to try to get you to stress. Somebody was loving it when you was stressing, honey. Okay, I'm seeing now they're pulling out their hair. Somebody's hair is falling out, possibly. Something going on with somebody's hair, or they're frantic. Like I'm seeing somebody who's frazzled, like frantic, like they don't look good. I'm hearing smoking cigarettes and I take it as a resonance. I can't cope with this. Somebody can't cope with it. They cannot cope with the fact that you ain't stressing today. <laughs> Show me clearly, angels and spirit got it short and sweet on this sidebar. LOL. Let's get it. We're going to use this deck. I usually don't for the sidebar LOLs, but why not? Why not? Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Take it as a residence, y'all, because I am hearing that. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's what I'm hearing, y'all. Brick house. Tear shed. Yeah, somebody. They somebody's crying because you're a brick house somebody's crying because not only did you return home but you're a brick house she's a brick da -da 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 house they took you for granted you're mighty mighty just letting it all hang out so you ain't stressing but they stressing they stressing because you're not stressing and they took you for granted ouch they know now. They are the ones that have gained enlightenment on this. They've gained enlightenment on the fact that you're at peace. Y'all, I should turn the camera around and do the dance. We ain't stressing the day, y'all. <laughs> this has been your read sidebar, LOL. I hope you enjoyed. I'll catch y'all next time. Bye. I love y'all. Bye.